There is a certain collectible I've always imagined for the Sly series, something I feel could explore hidden lore and, heck, solve potential mysteries. With that in mind, let's dive into it. Hello everyone, I am Vivi and welcome back to another Sly Cooper video. So, about this imaginative collectible I have in mind. Clockwork's journal or clockwork entries, call it. Either of these two have a nice, mysterious vibe, feel to it. I like it. So Vivi, what made you think of such collectible? Simple. The mere mysterious nature of clockwork itself. We get it. Clockwork wanted to prove to the Coopers that they were nothing without the book. Yeah, we're fully aware of that, but we also have to remember that this owl has lived on for centuries, and naturally, he's lived through many life cycles of mankind perhaps witnessed civilization itself with its complete ups and downs. Some of you might feel this idea was inspired from a certain game, or games in this case, and yes, you are correct. I am a fan of Kingdom Hearts. When I first got introduced to that series way back, I never once thought that collecting these secret reports would have interesting tidbits of lore or unexplained scenarios. Another one which comes to mind is Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. While on planet Yerik, we stumble on Hollow Diaries, audio recordings of young Vendra when her and her brother Neftin were living at the orphanage. They didn't have friends. Adults didn't care if they were bullied. Eventually, they connected with a being from another dimension. And that's what gave rise to their intentions in that game. Although these weren't necessarily hidden or hard to find, the idea of it, introducing background lore this way, it just felt really intriguing and mysterious, especially when exploring dark corridors. As for Clockwork in this case, seeing as how he remained alive for centuries, it'd be interesting to get snippets of what he's experienced throughout his life as a cybernetic. Imagine Sly exploring dark eerie places like this, like an abandoned research center or an old flooded dark basement with abandoned tech. Assuming Clockwork's journal would go over his life experiences and discoveries, how exactly would we collect his journal? Are we talking about unlocking an all-in-one big journal as a reward, or are we looking at finding scattered pieces of his journal? Let's go with the latter. We could imagine either parts or pieces of his journal scattered throughout hub worlds, or within levels themselves, like the example we made before, dark corridors or dark eerie basements. It could be located anywhere, really, but the point is, if they're super hard to find, I mean, I'd be up for a challenge. Seeing as how Clockwork doesn't really have hands, he has giant claws, I mean, it'd be hard to pick up a pen or a pencil and start writing on paper or papyrus. That's what ancient Egyptians used to write on back in BC. Clockwork was shown to have at least originated from those times we cannot forget. The whole he can't write on paper, now that I think about it, Clockwork's known for having allies in the past, or people who worked for him, the Fiendish Five in this case. So it wouldn't be totally out of the realm of possibilities of Clockwork having allies throughout his lifetime, other than the Fiendish Five. He could have even had strong ties with certain people in his life, people who he's seen come and go. He is a robot, he must have witnessed the death of these people due to old age. Perhaps the people he'd befriended wrote the journals for him on paper. He resented the Coopers to an extent which fueled his hate chip, we believe. But his source of hate could have also come from anywhere. Like losing hundreds of people he's worked with or had strong ties with just die in front of him. Whatever the case may be, Clockwork's lived long enough to see it all. One thing we should also consider is the invention of voice recording. The oldest voice ever recorded dates back to April 9th, 1860. Applying real-life history to the Sly series, we could believe that Clockwork eventually transitioned from paper format to physical hardware. Imagine these very 
old yet still functionable voice recordings. Let's apply the logic of the Thievius Raccoonus in this case. This book is centuries old, written by Slight and Common One. We'd like to believe that this book was updated through time, meaning its content was reprinted on more modern hardware. Same logic could apply to Clockwork's journal. For the sake of nostalgia, Clockwork might have decided to convert everything into sound. Hence these old recordings we would find scattered throughout hub worlds or levels. Now the thing with a journal, there are so many things one could write in it. The thing we have to consider though, to what extent should we explore Clockwork's past? We've known Clockwork as this monster, Sly calls it. A monster who haunted the Coopers for generations. That is the image of this character. Someone who caused the murder of Sly's parents. We don't want to undo or ruin the legacy of this character. Example of, oh, he was just misunderstood this whole time. We can't just undo everything we've realized about this character. So imagine in collecting journals, what should we expect to listen? Will these tape recordings, assuming we're dealing with tapes at this point, share parts of his life we never would have imagined? Like a complete different side of him. Clockwork could have started as a trusty ally, until all that hate and darkness just consumed him and eventually turned into jealousy. His journal entries could hint at that, or how he maintained his body, simply. He is made of metallic parts after all, some maintenance or upgrades could have potentially been applied to him. So recordings about that, or someone he's worked with closely would be very interesting to hear. Collecting Clockwork's journal could also give rise to the discovery of, like I just said, pretty much an example would be a longtime secret ally. It could be someone who he constantly would talk about, especially someone who understood cybernetics, how the body functioned. Whoever that is, it's up to our imagination. A little fun fact I want to bring up before I wrap this up. If you've ever heard of the book To Catch a Thief, it explains the reasoning behind the clue bottles lying around the hub worlds. I made a video discussing the book, perhaps you'd like to check it out. If there's a reason behind the clue bottles being scattered, what about Clockwork's journal? Should we expect a logical reason behind him losing pieces of his journal, or should we simply let game logic handle this? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel, much, much appreciated. Thank you to you viewers for always sticking around, and as always, I've been Vivi, and until next time.